This is your crash course in metal casting. But it's not all just fun and games and pouring molten metal. There's a lot of prep work that goes into making an iron pour possible. Let me walk you through the process of this iron pour, which I learned in the metal casting class here at the University of Minnesota. First, pre-made molds created by artists and students must be moved from the storage area to the furnaces by truck. Meanwhile, the furnaces are being heated with gas to a temperature that's hot enough to melt the iron, about 2500 degrees. Once the furnaces are hot enough, 50 pound charges of coke and iron are loaded into the top of the furnace. The coke, a coal-like product, is placed in first as a fuel. The iron filters through it as it melts and collects into the well of the furnace. The furnace can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to completely melt all of the iron. While the iron is melting, the ladle is kept over the top to heat it. This avoids chilling the iron when it's poured into the ladle. Workers use small viewports on the side of the furnace to tell when all of the metal inside is melted. Once melted, a team member will remove the bot located at the bottom of the furnace that acts as a plug for the iron. When the bot's removed, the iron flows out into the ladle. Extra material floating on the top of the metal is called slag, and it's removed by the skimmer. Hot iron is dangerous, so safety gear is highly important. Anyone working near the furnace must wear full leathers and a face mask. The pour crew is made up of a live end to pour the metal, a dead end to stabilize, and a skimmer to tell them where to pour and how much metal is left inside of the ladle. While the crew is pouring, excess iron is removed from the furnace and it's charged once again. As the next load of iron melts, the molds are given time to cool to a solid. Even when the fresh castings have cooled to a solid, they're still extremely hot. Workers shovel the hot casting and molds into a wheelbarrow, which they then carry to the grinding station. Workers dunk the iron into tubs of water and set them out to cool. Once they're cool enough to handle, volunteers grind up the excess iron off the edges and back to clean them up. Once the castings are cleaned up, we have a finished product. And that's how you metal cast. But maybe you should learn how to make a mold first.